second, please? That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. <laughs> That's precisely the truth. So we were still working for her. Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. And again, she could be lying. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate! Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever! Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is become the blackened and escape. Teacher's final decision. Collect all the hope fragments, press your button. The teacher's final decision. I see! As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. That's going to be a problem. To participate in a graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. What? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the braid! Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. It looks like we shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. Dude, we walked a really, really wrong path from what you guys are saying. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. No matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair! Ah, uh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. That's the Mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. Mastermind? Oh, we got another player coming in. Mastermind! 
Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Okay. Izuru Kamakura? That name. I've heard it before. That person was called the Almond Hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right. I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was a Dark Death of Destruction, founder of the Academy. I see! Izuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name? It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the ultimate Pope, right? Hmm? Does the founder have the same name as that ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. You're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Oh, don't say such cruel cool things. Then how is he an old guy in those pictures if he was a student? Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? Huh? What? I am... what? Like I said... You're Izuru Kamakura. That's unexpected. Huh? Alrighty! If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're. How is he the founder then? Yeah. Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way! There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is... That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve force dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Izuru Kamakura. <laughs> Oh, back to this. Uh, what haven't we used yet? Killings. Good news, Hajime. All right, let's sit through it first. Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along. Ultimate hope. How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata! I've always had that name ever since I was born! 
Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists. Could it be created hope? That might be Izuru. Hold on. I need to see my bullets. I'm the all Hood. hope. What is Hope Cultivation Project again? For many years, Hope Speak Academy attempted to create true hope by consolidating the results of all their research. I think we gotta shoot what Makoto says. With that bullet. Then the current me and Izuru Kamakura are... What did Hope Speak Academy do to me? Could it be created hope? Ah, <laughs> that's going to be a hard one to hit. Could it be created hope? Ooh, that was close. Figured if I got one out of the way, it might help. Created hope? Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan? What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder. And called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. So there was another Izuru Kamakura. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime, who stands before you now. So he was Hajime at one point. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Huh? You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. And after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transformed? What did they do to him unless you're willing to go to extremes it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius so naturally they went to extremes by directly interfering with his brain hope's peak academy transformed hajime hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself known as izuru kamakura Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. What's up with the paper? Government has buy homes, cars, that is prompted. It seems like random stuff from a newspaper. There's a bit in there about North Korea, South Korea. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they? really do something like that? But if you think about it, if Hajime gets out of here, he's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. 
different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions, thoughts, hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Well, I mean, technically, if we all get out of here, we're just going to revert back to being despair anyway, so nobody here is going to be like they are right now. Disappear. I'm going to disappear. Disappear. Disappear, disappear. Disappear, disappear, disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. Wow, it gave you a lot of hair. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm, really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? I mean, she could be lying, but it would explain why Hajime is kind of like a blank slate. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Huh? Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I do. I already know how I can be saved. Uh, choose repeat wouldn't do it. Choose graduate would cause them not to exist anymore. Is that what they mean? It's not become blackened and it's not submit to Chinko. Let's try graduate. Let's see. I just need to choose graduate. Huh? In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless, happy ending. Hold on, you can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is... 
We have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> and can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love, there won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear, all because of the Academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! I mean, that much is true. We know not to believe her. That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent them? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but... Don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys! You can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. Well, I mean, to be honest, why would you want to graduate and let Junko take over the world, essentially? And which is true despair? Um, what shall we do? You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it! Turn out like this. If everyone can overcome despair, you guys should be able to grasp true hope. Why is this different? If our memories up until now disappear. It didn't pop up any bullets. I will not even remember. Other than shutdown sequence. The reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but. I want to see Pekko one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair, the Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. I just noticed our life meters going They're crazy. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! So is the time. For your protection. If Junko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! 
graduate or shut down the world or me why not look like that hurt us hope or despair they're telling us to choose we're getting hurt choose between that why why do we have to choose am i supposed to be doing something here oh crap okay we're okay i think i don't know what just happened i can't do it huh C can't do it i can't choose you guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that, I can't decide. I can't choose either one. Dude, sacrifice yourself. Come on now. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This, this is just too much. Why do I, why do I have to be a part of this? I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. But even so, I got dragged into this, and now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden, don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... That's despair. And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. So I suppose to do something back there, maybe? Jeez, once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that, but the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine, I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's... Immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever 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 and ever. The hell's happening now. Wait, is that it? Oh, hey, everybody's back. Wait. All right. Bye, Hill. A game reset. And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game, Utopia, sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. Young master. That is a wise call. So. Yay! You didn't have to forget us! Yes, there's no way I would forget. And with this, Junko's gone. All right! Let's party! I get the feeling we're supposed to do something here. I'm showcase my full cooking ability! Oh, God. Just leave the BGM Jibuki! Hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? Want to be awed by the sight of my prowess? I've prepared you a training regiment. Ooh, if you get hurt, let me know. Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? Oh, we had a different voice. <laughs> After all this time? What was this again? 
Oh well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted to send it. We're supposed to do something All here. Right. Again reset. And with this, the world will continue to lose. We have to absorb something, because that's a An great bullet. Eternal game, Utopia, sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. I can't switch. Master, that is a wise call. So is there only that thing that she says? Hey, you didn't have to forget us! Yes, there's no way I would forget. Can't do anything about white noise. And with this, Juko's gone. All right, let's party! I'm gonna showcase my full cooking ability. Just leave the BGF to your booty. I wonder if we're supposed to shoot what what's her face hey, says, I but I don't know what I'm supposed to shoot it with. What Chiaki what says. To be awed by the sight of my prowess? Is there something here I'm supposed to shoot? You a training regiment. Something to absorb. Ooh, if you get hurt, let me know. Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? <laughs> After all this time? That's not it. Wait, that's different. You guys aren't part of the game, right? What was this again? Oh well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. I wanted this. We need to maybe oh, grab right. what Chiaki says. Because we don't really have a bullet to shoot right win. now from looks of it. As she popped in at the end, it wasn't like that the first time through. I guess. <laughs> After all this time? That's not it. She's trying to interfere. You guys aren't part of the game, right? Alright, we're gonna shoot what she says. This makes sense to me. Okay. Alright! A game reset! Oh, I guess I could shoot it as a great bullet. This, the world will continue to loop. Unless I'm doing something wrong here. The eternal game utopia. This world. No, that was right. Who are you? I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Yaki? Is that you? Why are you here? Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, just not able to choose. Seriously, I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. <laughs> Isn't that messed up? Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. You guys both blink at the same time, and it's really creepy. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified of that. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime, you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? 
Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? It's how you use it. What's important is that you believe in yourself. Oh, okay, it's that then. If you can't do that, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be all right. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Hey, Chiaki. Can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future. And the responsibility, too. Yeah, I don't want to have to make this decision. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's horrible advice. <clears throat> if I do it, things will turn out okay. Of course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. But, but this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime. This isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on, I'll help out too. Help? Oh. I have no talent at all. I was nope. even by the academy I admired so much. This is me? Is this really me? I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. These are all like kind There's of the no same thing what he's Junko. saying. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Not mine. I can't choose the future. These are all hopeless. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. Do what? You should even be able to create the future. I need that, don't I? This is me. This is really me. So uncool. It's totally uncool. I have no talent at all. What happens if we shoot these? I was even betrayed by the academy I admired. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Nothing's happening. I'm not being penalized. Maybe I need to shoot all these bad statements. Here's what will happen to the world. I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated in. Because I'm kind of shutting no myself up. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Oh, shoot. Got it. I can't choose the future. I missed the first one, though. Even so. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. I think I gotta do it from the beginning and hit you everyone. even be able to create the future. I didn't hit the first one, so we're gonna try to do that. I have no talent at all. Even so, not mine. Even so, I... Oh, there we go. I guess it just looped the ones I missed. No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. 
everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Even if it's a convenient miracle, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. Hey, your mouth moves. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you too. That reminds me. I forgot to say it again. Got to say what? Oh. The hell is this? You can't lose hope. The memories we made here disappear. Am I supposed to hit? Oh, now you remember awakening. If we don't rid the world of despair, oh, I think I'm supposed to keep hitting this. Crap. I'm jamming this because I don't know if I'm supposed to do this before I hit finish. Come on. This is your responsibility. I'm running out of time. It's not your responsibility. Alright, it is. I was close. They're both hope and they're both despair. A conclusion will never be fucking reached. Okay, we are gonna ignore you can't that. Wait, what? Store power. The memories you made here disappear. I will not even remember. Alright, hold the button in my uh uh my bullet skank bigger. If we don't rid the world of despair. You can't lose hope. If we don't rid the world of the tragedy, okay, we'll stop. doing this by itself. We turn back into who might be killed by the. This is your responsibility. It's not responsibility. It's the future foundation. They're both hope and they're both. A conclusion will never. No, that's wrong. Okay, we're doing something right. Won't just be hope. There will probably be a lot of despair too. I don't know what kind of future awaits us, but our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Oh man, he's gone Super Saiyan. Huh? Who the hell are you? I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake, but my own. Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata! Oh no, not the some bad at these. Future. Okay, you can't absorb things on this, so I only you have this one sword. You yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. Let's finish this off. There's no need for you to choose. Oh, I haven't been cuts. If you do that, this game is gonna continue. If you don't want that, just turn off the game. Okay, this Even might be so, easy. I... You don't have to look at the hopeless future. I'll never let anyone choose again. That was easy. I don't think I can mess that up. Unless I just didn't do anything. Oh no. Not again. I don't want anything. You have no argument. There's no help. Just give up already. A miracle won't happen. This is a feeling. I don't want anything. I haven't been for this. I'm not losing life. I might not you be able to no fail this either. It's good because I'm bad at these ones against her. Just give up already. You're not hope. I don't want to lose anything. Any choice is despair. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. Wrong. No, that's wrong. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this all of a sudden? Everyone, let's shut this game down! Huh? 
but... Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll... There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. What are you, God, all of a sudden? The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence, and from there we can just create it on our own. The future that we want. What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. That does seem very, pretty convenient. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else! Um, we just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? Huh? Um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but... I just... I just saw it. When my body felt so heavy that I could not move, when I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one who shined that light, it was probably... You saw it too, right Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then, there is no way we can stop now. S Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. We should probably do whatever she doesn't like, is my guess. I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out. But... heard her voice. In fact, I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting, I'll fight. It's just who I am, you know? That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! Man, this sure is getting annoying again. But if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. I just realized you have screws in your ears. You... you all... Why? Why? How can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! What is it's called Gray Area. Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Huh? Oh, we did it. That was rough at points. Part 9 must have been that one logic die where I kept falling. That's it, we beat the game, I think, unless something else is coming. Well, let's get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning, right? First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create.
looks like something out of God of War, but here. Phew, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Man, this is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. <laughs> Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? Huh? But I guess I no longer, I no longer have to <laughs> hope for despair. That is just so hopeless. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess... it's just as Hajime said. At least... this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was... the ending they created. That's some deus ex machina kind of shit. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but... Even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future. Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is Kazuichi Soda. How could we ever forget you? <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. I kind of hope we get to see them like how they are outside of Hajime. So this is the end. But it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. Me too. Thank you. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Cause we're all friends after all. Game over.
Chapter 6. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. You have obtained the present giant cell phone. And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer rationality. It's about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Hope Speak Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident is so small it doesn't even have a name. We'll never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then, I guess we should get going. Hey Makoto, is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. No, the possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair, and they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable, don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um, about that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides the Future Foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all. For the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so horrifying. Toko. Then let's go. We must create our own futures too. And so, the ordeal has ended. And from here... Our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata.
the way that you cut your hair. My future lies here. Epilogue, the day before the future. Dangarampa too. Uh, I enjoyed it. Thumbs up. There were some dead spots, but generally there was usually something going on that made you wonder what was next. The trials are pretty good. Shocking, with the standout to me probably being the second with the Fuyuhiko and Pekko deal. The Macon reveal was pretty crazy too, especially looking back and realizing the personality switch you saw was how she was as an ultimate despair, and the beloved she was talking about was Junko. Possibly controversial opinion though, I think I like the first game more. I was really into the idea of the island setting at first, but it didn't feel as creepy or closed off or, I don't know, claustrophobic as the first one. In the first, you got the feeling you're trapped in this school with no way out, you're living there, you know. With the island, yeah, you're stuck there, but you look at the different islands and the backgrounds make them look pretty big and open. Like I wasn't getting the scary, tense vibe the first one had. In the second one, there doesn't feel like a sense of urgency for the people on the island to like, you know, get off of it. No one's really trying to figure out who Monokuma is. Everyone's just kind of like, ah, oh, man, we're stuck here, this sucks. Oh, someone died, time for a trial. But you could also argue that's because Monokuma seemed quicker with motives in this one and that was keeping them busy rather than him giving time for everyone to really interact with each other before hitting them with some encouragement. I didn't care as much for the characters either, though Danganronpa 1 had a better cast. This one kept killing off people I'd get interested in or was entertained by while leaving me with the scraps I didn't care for. Like, like I started to get interested in Gundam and by proxy to Sonya and Kazuichi Love Triangle, but then he dies after possibly doing something badass, sacrificing himself. And the other two just kind of go on existing. I thought Hiyoko was funny and had some good lines, she died. Makan stood out, was interesting, sympathetic. She was funny, especially her interactions with Yoko, she died. Mahiru kind of seemed like a possible Hina type that could be the heart of the group, but she died, though Chiaki kind of filled the heart of the group role too, I guess. Out of the last five, Hajime was all right. He was a stronger protagonist than Makoto. Fuyuhiko is probably my favorite character, but they spent some time on building him up. I didn't care at all about Sonia, Kani, and Kazuichi. Sonia was alright. She was at least somewhat likable. I tried to like Kazuichi, but he felt like a junior Teru Teru, just without the potential sex predator factor. He felt more like that dude you knew from school that acted really weird around women, but was mostly harmless. Akane I didn't care about at all. She felt like whoever wrote her had these lines and insisted on sticking in for her, even though it wasn't in character for the moment she was saying them. It was really strange. But anyway, it was good. I could go on and on, but I don't know how long these credits are going to last because they're moving pretty quick. Um, I will say I'm going to take a break before I get into the third game. I don't want to burn myself out on this series, and I felt like I was starting to with this one towards the end. I think I'm going to do a game or two and then I'll revisit it, but I'll definitely do the third game. It's... It's complicated because I like the series enough to want to see all the material about it, but I guess there's an anime I should watch that takes place before the third game and possibly wraps up the events from the first two games or something. And there's also mangas, and there's another game I forgot about actually. It's a side game called The Spirit Girls that happens before the third game. There's a... like an order list for the series that I'll have to go back and check out, but yeah. I'll probably end up watching this anime before I get into the third game. Maybe I'll, uh, there's a small, small chance I'll do this, but maybe I'll end up doing some kind of like summary of it after I watch it. I don't know, but that's for the future. I'm going to take just a little bit of break from Danganronpa, do a couple other things, and then I'll get back into it and do the third game at some point. Because the series is good. Like, I actually want to know what happens, like, how this continues. They did leave open some possibilities there with some other things. I'll kind of be okay if I never see Junko again.
ございましたお前ら愛してるぞあセラポストクレディットセクエンス Obtain present You have obtained a present Easter egg You have obtained a present y o u s a m i strap You have obtained a present. Danganronpa. If. Danganronpa. Oh, there's no post credits、uh, scene. That sucks. This is not a storyline where Monokuma lost against Usami. I'm gonna bet that's what school mode was in the first game. What's the novel? You can read the light novel Danganronpa If, written by that amazing writer. Dangarampa, Trigger Happy, wait, Trigger Happy Havoc, Dangarampa If, to Button of Hope and a Trash Warriors of Despair. From the beginning, character introduction, finish. Wait, what did I say at the top? The following novel contains references to characters who appeared in the novel Dangarampa Zero, which I have not watched yet. So maybe I'll look more into that. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's supposed to be Mukuro. 